Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Art Chahola. Today, I am in Pet Lighting Group to visit my another good friend, Derek. Thank you, yeah, Derek. Uh, I know that before you set up your uh, this new company, mm -hmm. you help your family members to run the lighting business for quite some time. Right. What makes you to be so brave to set your own company? Um, actually, this is my second time of restarting my own business. Um, the first time was when I came back from the UK in 2010. Mm -hmm. uh, I kind of helped my uncle build up his uh, kind of traditional business. He went from a traditional retail lighting business to a, uh, a group of uh, consisting of uh, uh, distribution, project and, and retail. Um, so I spent 12 years doing that. Um, Prior to that, I had nothing to do with lighting. And then after 12 years, me and my brother Andy had a, uh, another idea because we thought that the traditional way of running a business is uh, kind of outdated and old fashioned. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we needed a new way to make things more efficient. Um, so we came up with this idea of setting up this pad lighting group, which is based on a, a sharing economy and a kind of like a platform idea. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, this is a, a mother group company consisting of different subsidiaries. And these subsidiaries are actually formed with our partners. And these partners we recruited from our ex-colleagues. Uh, so they were kind of our top sales partners um, in our uh, uh, different old companies. Um, so we form different subsidiaries of them. And they all have their own different skills and network. So someone would be specializing in retail projects, someone would be specializing in residential projects, mm -hmm. and someone would have uh, their own network of office projects, for example. Um, so basically we found that having this uh, sharing of resources, sharing of costs, everything can be more efficient and everything can be uh, business development wise can be speeded up. Um, basically, we changed our tactics uh, a few years ago. We used to compete on price, but nowadays if you f uh, fully just rely on competing on price, it's unsustainable because prices keep going down. Um, so nowadays, we are more focused on solutioning and we're more focused on service because each of our customers, they have their own unique requirement. So basically, we design and implement a total solution for each and every customer. Uh, also, moreover nowadays, people talk about uh, easy access and also smart living, smart lighting, smart city, etc. So people would want to go home and go to the office. They don't want to you know, face a panel of different switches just to turn on a few lights and to control the different lights. People want freedom and, and ease of access. So nowadays, we've installed a smart lighting solution in our office. For example, this is uh, a demonstration of what we come in in the, in the morning. We, we want to be energized. This is fully on uh, and full brightness mode. So we can work uh, until towards the evening. For example, if I press mode two, this is a kind of a less bright mode. So this is um, kind of a more relaxed mode as we go into the evening and starting to be more relaxed. So let's say later on, if I press mode three, this is uh, you know when you want to invite some friends for a few drinks and for a few discussions. This is a totally uh, kind of a, a much more moody uh, kind of settings. Um, so basically, you can do it all via one app. Or basically, if you have, uh, for example, kids or elderly in, in the, um, at home or uh, even in, in your environment, and they don't want to use a, 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 an app, you can do it all via remote control. For example, like I was doing earlier, I can just the press of one button. I can change to different modes, just like I was doing via the app. Also in this single remote, I can change the color temperature, you know, from cool daylight to warm white, and also the brightness. So everything can be done by a remote. Actually, smart lighting is only a very small part of a smart home solution. For example, uh, an owner wants to come to the uh, smart home, they don't just want to control the lights. For example, they want to control the air conditioning, the curtains, the AV units, television, and so on. So our smart lighting solution can be fully integrated into a smart home solution. So the owner can uh, use an iPad, iPhone, or even a remote at the touch of a button, control everything they need to control. Nowadays, everything is IoT, so even more smart devices are coming into the market. So it can be fully integrated into the smart home solution. Also, moreover, in recent years since COVID, we've been asked to provide some UVC disinfection lighting solution. 
Um, so for example, we've installed the same here in our office. Um, this UVC lighting um, basically disinfects using UVC technology, disinfects the environment. So we can combine that with our smart lighting solution to control the on and off and the effectiveness of the lighting. For example, we can add a timing relay to say control it at, uh, for example, switch it on automatically at midnight for two hours and then when we come back in the morning it's fully disinfected. Also it can be integrated with a sensor. So when uh, this environment is detected with no humans or pets, then it's safely to turn on the UVC and again, it can switch it on uh, automatically for two hours. And then in the morning, when we come back, it's fully disinfected. Of course, we can manually do it as well. Uh, but also, um, you would think, how safe is this? Uh, for example, the UVC lighting also has a double safety mechanism. One is a fully integrated sensor on its own light. So when it detects human motion or even pet motion, uh, it will switch off automatically. Also, it has an IC unit to, to control the different safety aspect of the lighting. For example, if it detects there's a fault on the sensor, if there's a fault in any electronics uh, components, it would switch us off. Um, so that's uh, how combining with the smart lighting solution with UVC, um, we can make sure that this whole solution is more smart and more safe. Derek, what is your future plan? Like I said before, I think we would uh, go into a much more smarter solution. For example, at the moment, a lot of the solutions are uh, not fully integrated. So they are all more fragmented and operated individually. So you would have AC on its own, you would have uh, AV on its own, you would have lighting and curtains uh, kind of combined. So in the future world, everything would be based on IoT. So one would expect to go into a smart home, everything is based on AI, everything would be more based on a fully automated solution. So which is why we want to diversify not just from lighting, but also fully integrated into a more smart solution.